I look at it and I find it so easily relatable to what we do today when we travel. It's a postcard or it's nine postcards all combined into one. And it is an example that I think we can readily identify with and it's what we do today. However, this was done in a very different form than a selfie, a snapshot, social media. This is a micro mosaic tabletop. It was made in mid 19th century and it would have been made in a workshop in Rome. The tabletop depicts nine views of Rome. In the center is St. Peter's Basilica. This is surrounded by views of well-known places or well-known buildings in Rome, such as the Pantheon, the Colosseum, the Forum, and the Arch of Titus. The micro mosaics were typically made as things for visitors, tourists to Rome to take home with them as a signifier and object that showed that they had had that experience. Going to Rome was part of what began in the 18th century for young men as a sort of rite of passage to go to the heart of classicism and to have an education, both artistic, cultural um, education, to learn um, about the great classics that were centered and clustered within Rome. When we think about micromosaics, their history goes quite far back. This begins with an interest in ancient mosaics, so Roman and Greek mosaics, which were made typically with different colors of stones. So using the natural colors of the stones to create the design itself. This tends to go from use on floors and walls, churches and basilicas. These could be geometric, these could also be figural. Sometimes metals are added in, so you can have gold and silver to have a glowing interior in a church. Also, glass begins to be brought in. To begin to look at the particular history of micro mosaics, you really start with St. Peter's Basilica. Um, you already have the tradition of the mosaics being used within church interiors, and here's where it becomes much more refined and much more um, used in a much more expansive manner. By the late 18th century, what we now call micro mosaics were developed. The pieces of glass used were so small as to sometimes be almost microscopic. Sometimes the pieces could even be as dense as 5,000 pieces per square inch. This is an art form that, whereas it may have started off in a way from the heritage of mosaics and then in an effort to try to mimic oil painting it really became an art form of its own. People were purchasing micro mosaic tables specifically because they wanted to bring back that material, that medium, that technique in a piece of art back with them to their home. That is something that I love about decorative arts. It's that technique, it's that technology, it's constantly pushing to find a way to create something in a way that it hasn't been created before, which I think is absolutely remarkable.